So I'm gonna see if I could do something with this Toyota Clip uh, with my phone balanced right up here. And I'm way down here. I have it on telephoto with three times power. And we're gonna try to take this Toyota Clip off without breaking it, but at the same time, let you guys see me get in here without blocking your view like this. See, you don't see nothing. So I'm gonna try to twist it. Okay, so did I twist it? It's really, really fragile plastic. I think it already broke. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it looked like it already broke. Yep, that's it, it's broken. Okay, so. And see, this is, look at this shit. I don't know if you could see that right there, but that plastic, it breaks almost like glass. It's a really, really fragile plastic. I mean, Toyota, and see, Toyota isn't probably not the ones who invented this system. It was probably taken to them from a third party manufacturer and say, hey, we, we found a way to speed up your assembly line time. And uh, so they came up with this BS little system here, kind of like what Ford did back in the, is it the late 1980s, early 1990s when they introduced the spring. Do you guys remember the fuel line spring system they had on air conditioning? Well, to, uh, well that, that was a cluster F. And uh, for Toyota, this is Toyota's cluster F. See, I can't squeeze it enough to get it out of there. It looks like, uh, let's see. See, it's bent. The line is bent. It's not straight going in there. It's under an angle. It's under force. And because this is a piece of shit Apple phone, brand new, 13, S plus. I'm trying to do it. Oh, I don't even have light on. But yeah, you can't see in there. You could almost see. Now you see that metal up there? That means there's no plastic clip there and it pull out. But you see the plastic clip right there? That's holding it in. And can you see that little ridge? Focus. Come on, focus. Yeah, it's a piece of crap, Apple. Um, Let's see if I can hold it up right there. Nope. I just pulled a piece out with my finger. Right there. Okay. Let's try this again. This is one of Toyota's worst developed products they've ever put on the market. inside there come on Toyota I mean uh, Apple focus you jacked up piece of garbage so whoop, and now it now it tries to focus it you piece of shit okay now can you see that there's no plastic ring up in there and you see that groove in there let's see if there's any plastic underneath there's that little tiny, tiny piece of plastic right there. Might be able to blow it out. <laughs> yep, it came out. You see that? I just blew on it and it came out. That would have lodged right, I don't know if you could see. So the face, the lip inside there with that little piece of broken plastic in it would have stopped this from coming out. Just that little piece of broken plastic. So you really want to make sure you have all the plastic 360 degrees out before pulling it out. So now, 
There we go. Now you see that big ridge right there? You see how that's constructed? That has to be seat way to hell back there because that little piece of plastic, what's broken, goes right here. And if you look inside, when you come out, the plastic grabs on that lip inside there. And if you get a aftermarket condenser, if you get an aftermarket condenser and they did not machine and they did not stamp this little groove in here properly, it's a few thousands off, and you put your Toyota with a brand new clip on there, I think that, it can still malfunction and pop out just because of a few thousands mess up on the way they did it. This is what I'm finding another problem with some of the aftermarkets. Even with brand new Toyota clips, they're still popping out but they have aftermarket condensers. So that's the problem. So you see I have the nitrogen here. here. Let me uh, turn on the nitrogen. You hear the nitrogen? Watch this. With no clip, watch how much pressure it could hold. We're gonna wait for that to blow out. Look at the pressure. So we're gonna watch this pressure go up. I have no clamp, I have no clip inside that uh, thing. It's just held in by the O-rings. It's not leaking right now. There it goes. That one was at 50 PSI. The other day I did a video with one that I was able to completely nitrogen pressure test it at 170 PSI. It didn't have a clip on it and it didn't blow out. Then I evacuated it and I put um, refrigerant in the system and I ran it and it operated perfectly for a few minutes and then that hot refrigerant as the hot refrigerant expands metal and the refrigerant is pulsating through there so you have a little vibration and the vibration of the car it blew out the whole refrigerant charge I've had that happen a few times where the clips don't hold up to you know heat and vibration and that's it it's sealed right now not leaking with no clip you you can pull a vacuum and you can recharge with refrigerant in some situations and still not blow out so don't get fooled by this little toyota clip thing so let me uh turn this down there we go and now it's ready to pull out 